Do you have some really rock solid videos for your website, but don't have anywhere else to display them? Maybe you already have videos on your website, but you need ways to leverage them online. Or maybe you want to talk directly to your prospects through a video to remind them of your services. YouTube retargeting might be perfect for you. Retargeting on YouTube is a great place for highly targeted video ads to take advantage of your video footage. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how you can get your videos in front of your warm prospect audience using YouTube retargeting. I'm Adam Markfeld, owner of Paracore, a pay-per-click lead generation agency. First, if you need a primer on retargeting, click here to see my video on retargeting basics. In the video, I go over the fundamentals of retargeting and how it works. Today, we're going to talk specifically about retargeting with YouTube ads, which are a highly effective way to engage your audience. It helps your brand stay in front of people, which, as you know, is critical for long sales cycles when you need to build trust. Using Google AdWords, you can roll any of your YouTube videos as ads during other videos in the YouTube network. There are numerous ad formats for YouTube, but for retargeting purposes, we're going to focus on in-stream ads, which are sometimes referred to as pre-roll ads using the retargeting feature. Let's start by going over the several different types of in-stream ads. You're probably familiar with skippable video ads that allow viewers to skip ads after five seconds. These ads can be inserted before, during, or after the main video the viewer is watching. Non-skippable video ads must be watched before a video can be viewed. They're about 15 to 20 seconds long. Longer non-skippable video ads may be up to 30 seconds. These ads can appear before, during, or after the main video. Bumper ads are non-skippable video ads of up to six seconds that must be watched before a video can be viewed. Once you know what type of ad you want to run, you'll need to decide who sees it. This is done by creating audiences in AdWords. There are a lot of different ways to create audiences, and we'll touch on just a few in this video. The primary YouTube audience builder for AdWords uses a person's engagement with your YouTube channel. Those behaviors include engagements like whether someone has viewed videos from your channel, visited a channel page, or liked a video from your channel page. You can target your ads based on other behaviors, such as whether they've shared or commented on a video, subscribed to a certain channel, viewed certain videos, or added a video from a channel to a playlist. As you can imagine, targeting someone who's been engaging with your channel will have extremely high relevancy for that consumer. Retargeting visitors to your website is another highly effective audience for YouTube ads. This allows you to show ads to people who are recently on your site. If you sell services or want to push your brand, it's a good way to stay in front of visitors. It's also a good way to promote educational videos for your industry. A third way you can create an audience for your ads is through Customer Match. Customer Match is a product from Google that they've created to help you reach what Google calls your highest value customers on Google Search, YouTube, and Gmail. With Customer Match, you can upload a list of email addresses, which can be matched to signed in users on Google. From there, you can build your campaigns and ads specifically around reaching these audiences. For example, let's say you have an athletic wear brand. You can target people who have joined your rewards program, so when a rewards member Googles running shoes the next time they're watching videos on YouTube, they'll see your ads for your running shoes. We've talked about the ads and audiences. Now, let's talk about how YouTube retargeting works and go over a few basic steps for setup. When someone visits your website, interacts with your YouTube channel, or performs an action that makes them fall into one of your audiences, you can retarget those people on YouTube. In order to get this set up, first connect your YouTube account with your AdWords account. Go to the Settings, Linked Accounts, YouTube, and then connect your account. It should be an easy process, assuming you have admin permissions on both accounts. Once you have YouTube connected to AdWords, then you'll need to start building your audience list. We'll go over how to create a YouTube list in this video, but you can also use website remarketing audiences or import audiences from Google Analytics, which is incredibly powerful. In order to build a YouTube engagement audience, go to your shared library in AdWords and select Audiences. You'll then choose a remarketing list based on YouTube users and then select the type of YouTube audience you want to target. Finally, choose your membership duration and complete the rest of the settings for the audience. Now, in your AdWords Audiences section, you'll have a growing audience of people who are engaging with your YouTube channel. Okay, at this point, we've created an audience, but we aren't running any retargeting ads to that audience. In order to do that, you need to create a video campaign. Simply create a basic video campaign in AdWords, create the ad group, and then add the YouTube videos you want to advertise. Go to the Video Targeting tab, Remarketing section, and add the remarketing list you created. Now, the audience list you created and added to this campaign will see your ads. Any remarketing list can be used in your video retargeting efforts. When you're creating your video ad, there are some things to keep in mind to make it great. You want to create a strong call to action, also known as a CTA, which is the action you want people to take in response to seeing your ad. 
This could be to sign up for an email list, to visit a product page, check out a page on your website, and so on. Be strategic in what you link to and create a dedicated landing page to link to. Don't make the mistake of sending people directly to your homepage without any further guidance. It's also a best practice to create a closed captioning option so people who need it or prefer to watch with the sound off have an option to read rather than listen. Finally, it's a good idea to create an end slate, which is your outro at the very end of the video. This is another place where you can include links, send people to your channel, promote your social networks, or push your specific goals for the ad. All right, that's all for YouTube in our retargeting series. Be sure to check out our next video on segmenting your audiences, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new videos are posted. We'll be creating a lot more videos just like this for marketers just like you.